Hey boys and girls, it's Mr. Sunito. We're gonna do some math and we're going to do a little bit more work with picture grams or picture graphs or pictograms. They've got different names, it's fine. Um, but I thought we should probably start by watching the rest of the Brain Pop Junior video. So you ready? Here we go. <laughs> Oh, it's lunchtime. How can you make a pictograph? I'm starving. Hmm, should I get an apple or a pear? Which fruit do you like best? Let's take a survey about what type of fruit people like best. A survey is a list of questions used to collect information or opinions. You like bananas the best. So do a lot of other kids. You can record information from your survey into a tally chart. You organize tally marks into groups of five so they're easier to count. There are five, ten, fifteen tally marks. How many people like pears the best? Start with five, then count on two, six, seven. Seven people like pears the best. You can use information from the tally chart to make a pictograph. First, draw a chart with two columns. Write the title and write the choices on the left. Then, Create your key and pick a simple picture to stand for your votes. I'm going to use a smiley face. One smiley face will stand for one vote. Then I fill in the pictograph. Since 10 people voted for apples, I draw 10 smiley faces in the graph. Seven people liked pears, so I draw seven smiley faces in the graph. Two people voted for grapes. Six people voted for bananas. Pictographs help organize and show data or information so you can understand it better. Which fruit got the most votes? Apple. How many more votes did pears get than grapes? Five more people voted for pears than grapes. You can also show the same information in a different way. Whoa, Moby, that's a lot of fruit. Are you going to share? <laughs> Thanks, Moby. Okay, boys and girls, um, you're definitely going to need your math book right now and a pencil. So go ahead, uh, pause the video if you need to, grab your math book and a pencil and come on back. The page number that we're on is page 582, and we're going to do this problem together. <clears throat> uh, do you see all these guys here? Those are sheep. And we're going to use those sheep to make a picture graph. Now we've got some directions at the top and it says, are there more black or white sheep in the picture? Make a picture graph to find out. Now they've helped us begin to make the picture graph. Uh, they gave us the title. And look at what they wrote. They wrote sheep in the meadow. And the meadow would just be the, the grass. So that's the title. And then they give us our choices over here. We've got two kinds of sheep, black and white. Then they even helped us by giving us the key. The key is at the bottom. And it says each circle stands for one sheep. But what they didn't do is finish the graph. So we're going to 
finish making this graph by putting in the circles. Now we can't just put in any old number of circles because the circles mean something. Each circle stands for one sheep. So what we're gonna do, let's do the black sheep first. And you'll notice, here's a black sheep. Look over in the meadow. And in the book, they already started to cross out one black sheep. So take your pencil and cross it out. <clears throat> and then in the picture graph, they drew one circle. Because remember, the key tells us each, each circle stands for one sheep. We're going to do that for all the black sheep. So go back to the meadow, cross out a sheep, draw in a circle. And we've got one more black sheep. Cross it out, draw in the circle. How many circles did you draw? You should have three circles because there were three black sheep. Now we're ready to do the white sheep. I'll use a different color. And again, we're going to go slow. We're going to go one at a time. I'm going to cross out one white sheep in the meadow and draw one circle. Find another one. Circle. I'm going slow. I'm taking my time. I'm working carefully. Another sheep. All right, am I done? No. Here's another one. And, oh, I see one more. This is why we have to work carefully. <clears throat> now, We've finished making our picture graph, but there's a question at the bottom. The question reads, there are more blank sheep. Well, our choices are either black or white. So look at the picture graph. Are there more black sheep or are there more white sheep? Well, you can tell, look at that. There's more circles for the white sheep. So what are we going to write in the blank? We're going to write white. There are more white sheep. And we're going to get asked different kinds of questions about these graphs. So we want to make sure that when we make our picture graph, we go slow and we make them carefully so that we can get the answers right. Now, let's look at the bottom of the page. It says, I'll read this. Do more children like cats or dogs? And then it says, ask 10 friends which pet they like better. Well, we're not in school, so we can't do that. So I asked 10 of my friends what they liked better, cats or dogs. I'm going to tell you in a minute. And uh, it says here, draw one circle for each child's answer. So take your pencil, work with me, boys and girls. For the number of cats, there were three. Everybody write three next to the cats. Three children who liked cats. And next to the dogs, take your pencil. There were seven children that liked dogs. Now, <clears throat> we have to draw one circle for each child's answer, but I like to read the title first so I know what I'm doing. So the title says, Our Favorite Pet. And here are the choices, as you probably already have figured out, cats and dogs. And wait, let's read that key. The key says each circle stands for one child. Okay, pause the video. See if you can finish 
making this graph, this picture graph, and then start the video again when you're finished to check your work. Okay, boys and girls, did you finish? This is what you should do. We've got three children who like cats. That means three circles. One, two, three. Seven children liked dogs. We need seven circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just to check, I'm going to go back and count to make sure that I worked carefully. Three circles for three cats. One, two, three. Seven circles for seven dogs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was pretty careful. Okay. Now, I'm going to slide this up. We're going to answer these questions with this picture graph. Here are the directions. Use the picture graph to answer each question. Question one. How many children chose cats? Question two. How many children chose dogs? And then question three. Which pet did more children choose? Circle. I want you to answer those questions. Pause the video and then start the video back up when you're done. Okay, did you finish? Here are the answers. How many children, oh, let me erase all of this. Okay. So for question number one, how many children chose cats? We can look up here and we can count the circles one, two, three. That's three. How many children chose dogs? Count the circles. That's seven. Now that's not too hard. The third one, which pet did more children choose? Well, if you compare the cats to dogs, we've got more circles left for dogs. So you should circle dogs. Got it? Let's look at the next page. This is page 583. And again, We've got a picture graph, but it's not finished. So I'm going to help you. The directions read, which activity do the most children like best? Ask 10 friends. Well, we don't have 10 friends right now, but I already did that. It says, draw one circle for each child's answer. Now, the title of the graph, it's important to read the title our favorite activity. Here are the choices. Reading, computer, sports. Take your pencil and here are the numbers we're going to use. Five children picked reading. Two children picked computer. Three children picked sports. And the key says each circle stands for one child. I want you to finish making this picture graph with circles. Pause the video so you can finish and then come on back when you're ready. Okay, did you make your picture graph? Here's what you should have. Five children picked reading. That means we need five circles. One, two, three, four, five. Two children picked computer. That means two circles. One, two. And three children picked sports. One, two, three. Does your graph look like that? Okay, now this is the last part we're going to work on. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. The directions, of course, that would happen. Oh my goodness, Mr. Sonito. Okay, I want to I want to make sure you could see the picture graph and the directions. So the directions say 
Use the picture graph to answer the question. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to read through these so you can do them on your own. Question four says, how many children chose books? Put your answer there. I'm sorry, how many children chose reading? Sorry about that. How many children chose reading? That's easy. Question five is a little harder. How many children chose computer and sports? So you're going to, with that word and, that's a signal word that tells you you're going to add. Mm. See if you can get that. Question six says, which activity did the most children choose? Circle. Was it reading, computer, or sports? Use the picture graph. And let's see here. I think with question number seven, we're going to take our pencil and cross it out because we weren't able to do that one. Let's look at number eight. Eight. Number eight says, write your own question about the graph. And number nine says, look at the question you wrote, answer your question. Now, you might want to say, hmm, how many children picked? And then look at the choices. You might want to make it a little bit harder. It's up to you. But for a little bit of help, you can watch the Math on the Spot video. I'll put the link up in the comments, or you can ask uh, an adult at home to help you with that. And that'll probably make it a little bit easier to do questions eight and nine. After that, take a picture, send it to me in Class Dojo. Hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.